Hello students, welcome back to my grammar class. In this class, you are going to learn about collective nouns. Okay students, what you are going to learn today? Yes, you are going to learn about collective nouns. First, I am going to teach you what is a collective noun. Okay, shall we start? Yes, see here. A collective noun is a verb. Okay, a collective noun is a verb. Now, which refers to a group of people. Okay, it refers to a group of people. Amen. It refers to a group of animals. Amen. It refers to a group of things. Things now are all objects. Okay, now non-living things are in a political adventure. Yes, that is things. Okay, so our collective noun is a group of people to a particular name. That is why a group of animals to a particular name. So, there is a group of things, things are like gold and silver. So, keys, in the way, you can have things like that. One or one name will go. Okay, now, so, other people are going to learn about it. Now, you are going to learn about it. Okay, shall we see a few examples? Okay, students, now look at the first example. Yes, what do you see here? Yes, there is a tree, house, and then there are two ants. Okay, if there is two ants, you can say there are two ants. Okay, in plural form. But if there is more than 10 or 20 ants, what you have to say? Yes, you have to say a colony of ants. The word colony is a noun which refers to group of ants. Okay students, hereafter if you see more than 50 ants, what you have to say? Yes, you have to say a colony of ants. Okay students, have you understood the first example? Now we are moving on to the second example. Okay students, now look at the second example. What is this? Yes, this is a monkey. Yes, now tell me how many monkeys are there? Yes, only one. So that you can say one monkey. But look at this image. Yes, there are many monkeys, right? What can you say? Yes, you can say a troop of monkeys. Here the word Troop is a noun which refers to a group of monkeys. Okay, students, now look at the third example. Yes, it is a penguin. Okay, so there are more penguins, right? Yes, what you have to say? Yes, you have to say a colony of penguins. Here, the word colony is a noun which refers to a group of penguins. Okay, students, now look at the third example. Yes, there are many birds, right? Yes, you have to say a yeah, flock of birds. Yes, here the word flock which is a noun which is referred to a yeah, group of birds. Hereafter, if you see many birds, yes, you have to say a yeah, flock of birds. Okay, students, now look at the fourth example. Can you name them? Yes, these are dogs. Yes, if you see many dogs in a street what you have to say yes you have to say a yeah, pack of dogs a yeah, pack of dogs here the word pack here is a noun which refers to a group of dogs ok students so till now we have seen few examples for group of animal now we are going to see few examples for group of people if there is more students in a class, yes, what you have to say? Yes, you have to say a class of students. A class of students. Here, the word class is a noun which refers to a group of students. Okay, students, now look at the second example. Now tell me what they are doing. Yes, they are singing, right? Okay. If there is one person singing, what can you say? For example, Ram is singing. Okay, so Ram and Ram are party trikanga. Aprin saluinga. But there are so many members are singing for only one song. Okay, so what you have to say? Yes, you have to say a choir of singers. A choir of singers. Here, the word choir is a noun which refers to group of singers. Okay students, we are moving on to the next example. Okay, if there is more workers. Okay, if there is more workers, what you have to say means 
yes you have to say a team of workers a team of workers okay students now look at the next example yes how many of you like to go to tour yes i like what about you many of us like right okay students next time if you see many tourists what you have to say yes you have to say a flock of tourist a flock of tourist you have to use these words to develop your speaking skills okay here the word flock is a noun which refers to a group of tourist okay students have you understood this example now we are moving on to the last example okay now tell me how many of you have friends yes i do what about you ungalku friends irukangla okay so ungitta vandu ore or friend irukkum bodhu enna solluvinga ram is my friend appdin solluvingla but ungitta vandu nariya friends irukanga so appadi irukkum bodhu neenga enna sollanum yes you have to say a circle of friends what do you have to say yes you have to say a circle of friends here the word circle is a noun okay which refers to group of friends here the word circle is a noun which refers to group of friends okay students so till now you have learnt about a group of names for the people and animals okay in the next upcoming video we are going to learn about a group of names for things okay students now we are going to recall it from the beginning shall we start yes now tell me what is a collective noun i have taught you before right so remember and answer yes a collective noun is a word used to name a group of people animals or things collective noun அப்படின்றது ஒரு group of people க்கு இல்ல group of animals க்கு இல்ல group of things க்கு ஒரு பர்టిక్యులரான ஒரு நேம் இருக்கும் ஓகேங்களா சோ அத பத்தி தான் நீங்க இந்த வீடியோல படிச்சிங்க ஓகே ஸ்டூடண்ட்ஸ் this is the part 1 in the part 2 we are going to learn about group of things okay that comes under the collective noun okay students i hope you all understood this video see you in the next class thank you